Starting lineup this evening of the Bulls at one guard, number 23, a rookie from North Carolina, Michael Jordan. The other guard is number three, now in his second year from Alabama, Enos Watley. At one and forward, number 32, now in his fourth campaign from Oregon State, Steve Johnson. The other forward, number zero in his fourth year from Notre Dame, Orlando Woolridge. And at center, number 39, now in his 12th year from Albany State, Caldwell Jones. Mark Bill, the trainer, the assistant coaches are Fred Carter and Bill Blair, and the head coach is Kevin Lockery. With a record of 12 and 6, the starting lineup of your Los Angeles Lakers. At one guard, number 21, now in the seventh year from New Mexico, Michael Cooper. The other guard is number 32, now in the sixth campaign from Michigan State, Irvin Magic Johnson. At one forward, number 40, in his fourth year from Michigan, Mike McGee. The other forward is number 35 in his fourth year from Howard, Larry Spriggs. And at center, the captain, number 33 in his 16th year from UCLA, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The trainer is Gary Beatty. The assistant coaches are Bill Burke and Dave Bull, and the head coach is Pat Riley. And the officials assigned to work this basketball game tonight, the veteran Ed Rush, Bill Saar, Russian Saar. Working the ball game tonight, two of the best in the NBA. Against Briggs and McGee. McGee starting now for the injured James Worthy, so still another lineup change, and there's the man that everybody talks about. Leads the NBA in steals with a 2.8 average. He's scoring almost at 26 points a game. A magnificent basketball player, but that's no surprise. He was easily the player of the year in college ball. He was the most dominant force on the United States Olympic team. Michael Jordan is a bona fide. Make no mistake about it. He should provide you with a lot of thrills tonight. The Lakers control the tip. Kareem has a tendency to do that. And the whistle as he tried to work his way in. And somebody got him before he got to the lane. Ted Green. Probably C.J. Caldwell Jones holding him. There's Pat Riley. His starting unit. Well, the one he doesn't have on the floor tonight has been 9-0. and And now that Worthy's not playing, he's got a, a new group out there with Pam McGee at forward. Point a minute. <laughs> First, McGee um, is the oh, beautiful high lob to Cooper, and on the alley oop, Cooper slams it home to zip the Lakers to get it off on the right note. Well, the first great dunk goes to Coop. Let's see what Jordan can do. Jordan flips it over and uh, with it is Watley and back out on top to Steve Johnson who whirls into the lane. In and out and a tip and a battle for the ball and it's on the floor and Kareem feeds it up the floor to Spriggs. Boy, Johnson's awfully big to be playing in the forward. He belongs right in the middle of that uh, lane. He certainly knows how to play with his back to the basket. He's magnificent up at Oregon State. Scramble underneath and over the end line with the ball. Magic loses it, and he said, I didn't touch The cash it. registers are really ringing around the league <laughs> now with Michael Jordan. He is box office. Well, yeah. McGee guarding him. Speaking of tricks, over the end line, it'll be out of bounds to Chicago. NBA center. He proved that at Kansas City, but he's working out well at power forward for them. Watch him, number 32. Well, he represents a rather large investment, too. There's a drive to the bucket by Mr. Johnson. As Magic comes out of the backcourt for the Lakers. Big crowd on hand tonight. Beautiful pass underneath to McGee. And McGee is much bigger than 6'5 underneath that basket. He really can get in there and play with the big guys. Points. It's 4-4. Chicago at one time was 7-2 in that category. Had made 10 prior to that one. Great defense. Batted away. Hold everything. Foul is going to be called on Woolridge. Well, Watley. This is a great confrontation above the rim. Cooper on Woolridge. Now, we've talked a lot about Jordan. You'll see what he One can do. Great tonight. dunkers in the league. He was in the dunk contest last year. And he's averaging over 23 points a ball game. So uh, he, too, can give you some thrills. Loose ball foul is called on Springer. Oh, 
Jones with the turnaround. Jordan rebounds, hangs, still gets the shot away as he sprawls to the deck. And Caldwell Jones gets the rebound, and it's 6-4 Chicago. McGee posting low. He's got it. Watley can't handle him down there, Ted. No way. No, no chance at all. Strong McGee is with his back to the basket. He's sending Quentin Daly in, a bigger guard. Nice lead pass by Magic. But the Bulls hustle back well on defense. In the middle of Kareem. 9-6, the Lakers by three. Kareem with his first bucket of the night. Another nice assist by Magic, spotting Kareem in the lane. Magic number two in the league behind his good buddy, Isaiah Thomas. Keep your eye on Jordan and Cooper. Oh, what a move by Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> put it in the highlight film, 9-8. The Lakers lead by one. Oh, what a beautiful fake and a one-handed bank. Oh, uh, Magic. Tom, I'm telling you, he hadn't even broken a sweat yet. <laughs> oh, in the backcourt with the ball up the floor. Jordan, I should say, with it. Cooper out all over him and in the middle. Rebound to Magic. Lead pass for McGee. What a move by McGee. He sat at playing time when Pat Riley made all those lineup changes, but you can't keep him out of the lineup. Well, if you want to win, Orlando Woolridge to the basket for two, and it's 11-10. Notre Dame, fourth year. 7.15 to go, first period. The Lakers lead by one. Spriggs is going to get the bucket. 13 to 10, Lakers. The one thing, Tom, about the Bulls, they're very good, they're very young, and they're going to get better, but they're a little soft defensively right now, and they can be had defensively. Daly's jumper is in and out, and here comes Magic. Good defensive play by Woolridge, and Jordan slaps at it, knocks it out of bounds. Kareem was the guy that Magic had his eye on when he tried to loft that high lob, but uh, quick hands, and Woolridge and Jordan knocked it away. Timeout is being taken by the Lakers. They lead. You suppose we have that play by Jordan again? Let's take another look at it. Ted, this is magnificent. Watch him. Well, he, night in and night out, will do things that really defy description sometimes as a broadcaster you even get a little frustrated because uh the things he does are so amazing he's got the big hands like dr j he's also a gamer and, and a guy that they already turned to after only 18 games in the nba in the fourth quarter i mean everybody else hides and they say michael go it's your game pal take it you've all seen michael cooper jump and on that little replay you saw that jordan went to the basket with the ball and held it in his hand while cooper went as high as he could go i think missed blocking it and after Cooper had missed and gone by, Jordan still almost hung and just suspended, put it off the board and in for two. Amazing talent. Amazing. Yeah. Kevin Lockery. Well, it's amazing how fast having Michael Jordan will make Kevin an even better coach. I'm telling you, Kevin must have been the happiest guy in the world when the draft came around and Portland said, we'll take Sam Bowie second after Elijah Wan. And Kevin got to go for Michael Jordan. They've got to be scratching their heads up in Portland. I like Sam Bowie, but... Boy, I don't know how you pass on Michael Jordan. That's unbelievable. He's Magic's fifth assist, and we've only played five minutes in, well, less than five and a half. And McGee's got seven points out of the Laker 13. In and out by McGee. Tipped in. Kareem's got four. 15 to 10. The Lakers with a five-point biggest advantage of the night so far. 6.19 to go, first period. Did Caldwell tip that in, and they had to give it to Kareem, I suppose, but it looked like C.J. got that one. Underneath, tipped away from Woolridge. It'll be out of bounds and go to Chicago. Again, Magic tips it away. They tried to pass the ball underneath, tried to get it to Woolridge. Nice fake by Johnson. Follows and gets it. Steve Johnson uh, broke all my school records at San Gorgonio High School. San Bernardino. Probably did that for the second afternoon. game. On the floor. The second game. McGee's got nine at 17 to 12. Incidentally, a happy birthday to you. I was kidding you down there in the opening, but you've never looked better. And Adam McGee. Hey, he did a magnificent job. On a couple of occasions. Magic to Kareem at the baseline. Setting up against Caldwell and back out. And Michael Cooper's alone from about 16 feet. He's got four. 19-14 for the series. 
Well, we see him again here at the fabulous forum. Cooper and Jordan. Boy, Cooper turned him aside at the baseline. Kareem blocks it, but hold everything. Somebody got him down low. It's Magic. not Kareem. I think it's Magic down low. Magic can't He's not going to like it either. No, he doesn't like a bit of it. Magic says, you're not paying attention. That's number two on Mr. Magic. Fourth against the team. Well, you can decide for yourself. Woolridge is one of the eight or nine guys in the league that play the game strictly over the rim. He never does anything under the rim. I didn't think Except shoot free throws. I didn't think anybody touched him. Magic kind of fell away. Kareem blocked the shot. Somebody must have bodied him in there. At least the official saw it. Woolridge. Oh, now double team Kareem. That leaves Cooper open. A bounce pass to McGee. You can't drop off on anybody out there. You leave a guy open like McGee and he'll bury you. 21 15 and Michael's up. Uh, McGee is off to an 11 point evening so far. And with all due respect to Pam McGee, I'll take Mike anytime. <laughs> Great move by Jordan. Off the rim. He was fouled on the play. Cooper has been trying and succeeding, by the way, in denying the ball. That time they isolated Michael on that side. Great reverse spin with the left hand and freed himself for the jumper. Foul was on McGee, his second. Fifth team foul. Here's Michael Jordan. Think he isn't working hard out there? Michael has never lost a game in this building. How many did they win during the Olympics? About all they had to. Nine or ten? Won every one they had to. That's it. 21-16. Jordan proves he's human. There's McGee from about 22. <laughs> Wind them up. How about 13 points for McGee? Laker lead down to five. 3-11 to go, first period. Off its mark. Rebound to Rambus. Well, there's one of those one every three minutes you spoke of, Ted. Cooper to the big guy. Left of the lane. Holds it high around the... Away from the crowd. Nice move. And Kareem's got six. Lakers there goes. There's not much you can do about that. That was between three players. Rambus gets his first point of the night, and the Lakers have a 26-20 advantage. Some pressure in the backcourt. Scott very nearly stole the ball away. With it is Matt. The Lakers down. will set it up now. Good job by Steve Johnson getting back in transition. Cooper nails it. For Cooper, that's six. 22. Lakers lead. Kareem left of the lane. Beautiful feet underneath to Scott and even better fake and a beautiful shot by Byron Scott. A little hang time there by Scott. Nice really? pass by Kareem. Kareem has been the beneficiary tonight of a couple of nice passes from Magic. Little hook pass. How about that Reggie Roby? He's got some hang time for Miami too. Rambus with the tip controlled by Scott. 44 seconds to Kareem. Faking Corzine comes back with the left hand. He's got eight. Nice move. Fake left, roll back with the left Didn't hand. Didn't like the call a bit. Into the ball game comes Bob McAdoo. Going out, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. What a luxury that bench is for Pat Riley. Jordan back in and going out is Corzine. I said that Jordan was up, but he's not up there. Long range jumper by McAdoo, his first bucket of the night. He's got four. 35-29. I've always thought that West can play, but he's really kicked around. He's been in four or five cities already. Great pass by Magic underneath to Wilkes in the face of a couple of Bulls who were there defending against it. Here's Michael Jordan to the ball game and going out as Woolwich. He's got two points, 35-31. The Laker lead is four. They started the period. Up by nine. Beautiful move underneath by Magic. Oh, boy. That's a power move by Magic at the baseline. Yeah, it sure was. And, Tom, the beauty of NBA teams is that they're so smart at taking advantage of the mismatches. It really is just a game of finding out where the weaknesses are. That time, Matthews, at six feet even, was trying to stay with Magic at 6'9". No chance. Rambus has the rebound on the miss. Scott. Scott's got four, and Lockery looks at the scoreboard. 40-31. Corzine, little fall away one-hander. Rambus saved it. Great effort by Rambus. Kurt knows what to do with it. Dave Corzine's favorite movie. One flew over the cuckoo's death. Are you ready for Rambus? And Mac 
could do. <laughs> oh, I think Kevin might have to take a timeout. What a play. Holy I think we God. may have to give Rambus a saliva test. What did he learn to do all that? Most of those people up cheering can't quite believe what they saw Rambus do. Watch him save this at, at the baseline, first of all. Well, this is where the play starts. Kurt wound up in the lap of some guy wearing a big hat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. And then Magic took it up. They doubled him at the free throw line. So he gave it to Kurt. Watch Kurt, what he said, does. Kurt said, hey, I don't want it. Magic took it. Now watch this. Here's where the play starts. Matthews on Magic. Rambus sets the screen. There's the two-man game, a little behind the backflip. <laughs> and McAdoo gets the lucky bounce on a jumper over Corzine. Let me get back to Corzine for a moment. You know what one of his favorite movies is? One flew over the cuckoo's nest, and the cuckoo man is sitting about 10 feet away from where Corzine is standing at the other end. That'd be Jack Nicholson. Jack's there as he is every night the Lakers play, and there's Jack. Well, Corzine told one of the Chicago PR guys that his goal in life, one of his goals, is to meet Jack Nicholson. Well, he's only sitting 10 or 20 <laughs> feet away from him. Maybe we can do the introduction. There's Corzine. Cuckoo, That's Dave. <laughs> Corzine's busy listening to Lockery. Uh, the answer for you in the second half. Michael Jordan, although it is only December, appears to be a lock as Rookie of the Year for the NBA. If so, that would make him the fourth North Carolinian to win NBA Rookie of the Year awards. Who are the other three? If Michael Jordan wins it, he'll be the fourth. Three men have preceded him. Think about the other three from North Carolina who've been named Rookie of the Year. Don't think he can. Back out to Scott. Scott's got six. 44-31. The Lakers by 13, their biggest advantage to Magic, and here come the Lakers. 7.53 remaining first half. Beautiful pass. Wilkes gets the two, and Magic still another magnificent assist. Back in there. Woolridge comes back in. Michael Jordan's in there now, and he's picking up some defense against Magic. Jordan move. He's got five. 46 33. Some people think he's a second half player, Ted, but he starts slowly. Scott out of the corner. He's got eight. Nothing slow about his start. He came out and hit 13 of the Lakers' first 23 points. Magic with the steal. He'll never catch him. He's got five. 50 to 33. The Lakers with their biggest lead, 17 points. What a first half. Remember the 6.15 to go in the first half. Magic. I tell you, Jordan's got his hands full trying to stop him, as gifted as Jordan Play in. Jamal hasn't been shooting too many of those. Woolridge right over the top, and bodies go everywhere. No whistle, no harm, no foul. It's a non-contact sport. Tell it to Magic. Magic saying, you mean to say no one hit me? How did I get flat on my back? He just left an imprint <laughs> in the lane. 50 to 37. Riley's a little upset about it as he glances back down the court. Timeout taken by another look at Michael Jordan. This is a fine move. Yeah, it really was. He has been relatively quiet tonight, and that's one reason the Lakers lead by 13, but this was his best move so far. Look how long he stays up there. Changes it in his hands twice. Uh, more hang time, I think, than anybody in the league since Julius Irving. And he drove to his left to do it, and a lot of players are strictly one-handed, but not him. Here's Magic. And this was assist number 10 to Jamal, who beat Quentin Daly. What a pass. And then with Woolridge, who's not really accustomed to handling the ball out 20 feet, Magic stepped into the passing lane. The pass was for Daly, and Jordan was too far behind to catch him. Beautiful move by Magic. Corzine. Woolridge. Off target. Loose ball foul underneath will be against the Bulls. And that's five on Chicago. Free throws. Johnson picks it up, his second. And we're going to the other end of the court now, and the Lakers will be at the line. I'm not 100% sure, Tom, that this is an official number, but I think the Lakers have no turnovers in the game, and that's an incredible stat for a fast-breaking team late in the second quarter. Again, McAdoo, and none of them have been easy. 52 to 41. 
Cooper. What a fine talent he is. Magic, McAdoo. Well, there he was. He and Johnson going hand in glove together. At the free throw line is McAdoo. Very quickly, yep. after all these years, McAdoo still shows you the basketball. People go for it, and, and he makes that fake and just goes to the hoop. You know, you talk about pure shooters. The man still can shoot. Here to all oh, magnificent shoot. 54-43, the Lakers by 11. We've got 3.54 to go. High lob, Kareem saved it, couldn't get all of it. Here comes Jordan and the Bulls, and the Lakers go back on defense. Jordan steps around Cooper. Beautiful body control. He's got seven. 54-45. Don't go away. Jordan's a second-half player. He really gets involved in the second half of these games. He'll get a ton before it's over with. Cooper to retaliate. Greenwood, who just did save it. Good play by David. Or set down. 54-45. The Lakers lead by nine. They've been up by as many as 17, but the Bulls are closing the gap here as we come to the three-minute mark. Kareem backing in against Corzine. No chance. He swings left, comes back to the right, and throws that left-handed little sweep in, and it's 56 to 45. The Lakers by Dean stepped away, and Corzine went flat on his numbers. Jordan, watch this. Oh. Pass off! Pass off! Good call by Bill Saar. He says Jordan was passing off, not shooting. That's a fortunate call. Well, he goes baseline. You see, there's too many people there for him to shoot this. Then he sees Kareem, and he's got to dish it. Two. So the foul is going to be called on McAdoo, and the Lakers are lucky Kareem didn't get the foul. They are. Of course, it's academic because it's their fifth, and Jordan will nail these two free throws. Well, for Kareem, it would have been his third and put him in the same boat. Short. As Johnson pulled off a bit. McAdoo, McGee, but he's hot again. <laughs> he's got 15, didn't take him long to warm up. Miss one, get a good pass on the feed by McAdoo and roll it up and in. Lakers lead by 11, two minutes to go. Woolridge, Kareem rejects it. Nine point lead for the Lakers, Magic with a minute 49. Across the way, Spriggs getting ready to come in for the Lakers. Kareem wheels around. Missed the slam, but a whistle on the play. And he may have been nailed by Caldwell Jones. Kareem made a sensational move here around Caldwell. Reverse spin and just lost sight of the basket for a second. Number two on Caldwell Jones. Kareem at the free throw line. I assume Kareem is already in double figures. Well, Kareem right now has got 11. And the beat goes on. 500. Mm -hmm and 56 games in a row in double figure. Is anybody anywhere near a record like that? No. Terry Cummings uh, has never been out of double figures in, in two and a half years in the league or two and a quarter. He's only got 13 more to go. He's only got seven more years to go in double figures. <laughs> 60 to 49, the Lakers by 11. Woolridge, whistle away from the ball, hold everything. Foul is on Cooper. For Michael, that is his second. Jordan to the line. Coop has done a very good job so far tonight on the fifth leading scorer in the NBA. He's got nine points. Well, one assumes he'll be in double figures as they go to the intermission. Well, I'll tell you something, Tom. There's a quiet ten points, and there's a loud ten. And this has been sort of a quiet ten so far 60, for Jordan. 60-49, indeed, ten points. He's had a couple of magnificent moves to the bucket. Now he's got 11. 60 to 51. The Laker lead is nine. A minute 25 to go in the first half. Cooper, all the way with Jordan. Jordan tapped it away. What a good defensive play. Nice play by Jordan. Magnificent. Out of the corner, the rebounded, grabbed off by uh, Woolridge, and now we're coming back to live action. It's out of the backcourt, Jordan walks it up the floor. Minute nine to go. We're nearing the end of the first half, and the Lakers lead by nine. And I'll tell you one other thing about him. In the fourth quarter, forget about it. It's all Michael Jordan. 51 seconds to go in the first half. Cooper and Jordan. Riley's going to get it. There it is. There's the team. McGee got nailed with the foul. He didn't think he had it coming as third. 
And Riley got up. And Riley got his falls off the rim. And McGee is over Daly's back. I thought it was a good call. Underneath, Sprigs. Boy, he tried to manhandle that up and got shoved about. Lakers 9 and 0 with Larry Spriggs in the lineup at forward. Jordan picks up the foul. Boy, Spriggs was in the air and Jordan was right up there with him. Nearly tore his head. New haircuts. They really wear it short these days. Spriggs nails his. Mother Nature is taking care of keeping mine short, Ted. 61 56. Yeah, Kareem knows what you're talking about. <laughs> He's got a hole in his haircut, too. Oh, huh? And the half. Time for a shot. He's got a look for it. Three pointer. He gets it off. Short. The half, and the Lakers find their lead is down to three at 61 58. 61 58. The Lakers lead by three. They once led by 17 at 50 33. And the Bulls kept pecking away and clawing their way back. And there we have a three point ball game at halftime. You half can't time. emphasize enough as you look at Pat Riley. Three turnovers for the Bulls and only one for the Lakers in a wide open basketball game. Indeed. Very well played. Yes. Lee, uh, there's Kevin Lockery. Riley's 150 lighter, is he, after that T in the first 61 60. And uh, the third quarter is underway. Kareem. Jones. Nice baseline move, and the sky hooking. Kareem answers. He's got 14, 63 60. The Lakers. Their biggest advantage, 17 points. They've led from the opening tip, which they controlled thanks to the big guy. The Bulls are going for the weekend sweep here in Los Angeles. Yeah, they're going to win the city crown, huh? They beat the Clippers the other night, Friday, 104-100. Now they're trying to do likewise to the Lakers. They're not to stay in the game a little longer. He only played three minutes in the first half when McGee took advantage of him early. And now McGee's on the bench with four, and Watley probably will get a chance to see a lot of playing time. There's Kareem, whacked and fouled by Jordan. That'll be Michael's second. Big Caldwell Jones. There's Mike up the line, and he's got his usual double figure night going. 14 for the big guy. Well, at this stage of Kareem's career, superlatives are really pointless, but did you know that Kareem is leading the Lakers in scoring? He's sixth in the league in field goal percentage, eighth in the league in blocks. He's ranked uh, uh, second on the club in rebounding, right behind Worthy. So at 37, the old man can still play. Floor. Scott dogging his every footstep. Ball tipped, intercepted. Good play by Scott. Gets it back. But it's deep in the corner. Puts it up anyway. That's 10 for Scott. Good shot and very nearly scored it. Magic on the feed from Scott. Excellent pass by Scott. 64. Well, Jordan got a little help with a little hand in the middle of the back there. Except him out of range. Watley at the free throw line. Magic with great position. The Cooper. Oh. What a magnificent pass by Johnson. 71-64. From being down by one, the Lakers are suddenly up by seven. And it happened to him in that last minute or so. Well, we've had Michael Jackson in town this weekend. Michael Jordan. And how about Michael Cooper? He's playing a very good game tonight. Look at Buck, 6'9", 218. Tough on the boards tonight. Tough everywhere. Watch this pass. I swear the man's got four eyes. And he doesn't wear glasses either. What a pass to Cooper. Gave him one little glance out of the corner of his eye and then never looked at him again and then just whipped it right back to him. Magic was at the Michael Jackson concert last night at Dodger Stadium. You know he's dating... Michael's sister? I didn't know that. LaToya, yeah. Oh, she's beautiful. I'm telling you. Nice she looking couple beautiful. last night. And there's Michael Jordan. And he sits and looks. His team was up by one a moment ago. I mean, they led for the first time in the ball game when they went on top 64 63. And since that time, they've been outscored eight to zip. The Lakers lead 71 64. You talk about all the things that Jordan does. How about this? They played 13 games on the road, counting tonight. I believe we're sold out here at the Forum tonight. Of the 13, eight Bulls road games have been sellouts, thanks to Michael Jordan. Would the headline writers have had a field day if Jordan had gone to Washington? Oh, boy. Mr. Jordan goes, goes to Washington. To... Right. Uh, Magic Johnson, seven points, five rebounds, 11 assists. Boy, the Bulls thought he 
Double dribbled at least. Spot out of the corner. He's got 12. Jones drops it. It's on the floor. Cooper. Stolen away. Scott. Scott will go to the free throw line. Johnson picks up the foul. Look at the save by Cooper. Tremendous hustle by Cooper. On the floor, he got it to Kareem, who went to Magic. And then Magic found Scott. Magic certainly has been a big part of the story tonight, as you Scott said. The other and McGee. Quentin Daly comes in. Byron Scott. Those are nice numbers coming off the bench. Really. And if you throw in the six points that Cooper saw the spray. Greenwood for the ball. Well, Daly went a little too much one-on-one, -on -one, and that's what Kevin was talking about. Daly with the ball. <laughs> Jordan out of the corner. Foul is on Scott, his second. Well, Jordan gets a chance to... And still square up to shoot it. His vertical jumping ability and body control is just amazing. 75-67. Lakers led by 17 at one time. Up by eight. Yeah. Kareem. Oh, my. He just swept around. Got the bucket. Jones fouls him. Well, CJ is no stranger to Kareem. He used to guard him all those years in Philly before the 76ers got Malone. And Kareem didn't push him. He's off still the quick. Left hand, I'm telling he? you, 37. He still has a lot of quick moves near the basket. And a three-point play for Kareem, and all of a sudden he's got a total of 21 points in the ball game. Make it 19 points in the ball game. Michael Jordan. Not shooting very well here. Down goes Woolridge, and here comes Magic. His pass batted away, stolen back by Cooper. Now Spriggs will clear out, and Magic and Kareem will go two man. Spriggs gets it in close and left hands it in. He's got five. 67. Lakers have scored 17 scored points. Three. That's quite a run. Cooper blocks the shot by Jordan. Saves it. But the Bulls come up with the ball. Woldridge has it. Coop's got to take a cab to get back into the arena. He went up into the sixth row. May have to buy a ticket to get back on the floor. Riley's up talking, and the Sars over there talking with him. 20 seconds well, I'll tell you, Jordan never went against anybody like Cooper in college, guaranteed, or in the Olympics. Bulls have the ball. The Lakers have a lead of 13. Jordan out of the corner. There's his greatness. He comes back and right in Cooper's face, the 15-footer. He's got seven. 82-69. Michael Jordan with that last basket now has got 14 points. So the Bulls refused to go away. The Lakers outscored him 17 to 3 in one spurt. Kareem against Jones. Oh yeah, he nailed Jones again. And I think they're going to call Jones for the foul. But Caldwell, who goes out, has never been able to handle Kareem. You go back eight or nine years from the time C.J. came in from the ABA. He's just never been able to play him. I can understand why. Seeing what Kareem has done to him. Well, well, he's too light. Tom, he only weighs Caldwell about 220. He can take a shower in the rifle barrels, but you're talking about is kind of lean. Here's Rambus in. Briggs goes out. When Kareem can play against a finesse center like a Caldwell Jones, he'll usually have a big night and He's having a big night tonight. Yes, he is. Basically just trying to board for them. But if he'll get involved in the offense a little bit more, they'll be even tougher. 11-point lead for the Lakers. Biggest was 17. The biggest, 84-75 Lakers. Magic has it slammed away. Grabbed by Jordan. And Jordan has his third foul. The line, his effort, gives him a total of eight points in the ballgame. The Lakers lead by 10 again at 85-75. Looked like Jordan made a pretty good defensive play there. 
they lead the Pacific Division, and they're playing without James Worthy tonight. Jordan, you know, James had a string of 100 straight games. Corzine rebounds, can't get the shot away, Kareem blocks it. Oh, 37, you're kidding. Yo-yos it up and down while directing the traffic. To Kareem, double team. I'll tell you, he almost made that one. He really did. <laughs> He's not 37. Corzine picks up the foul, and for Dave, that's his third. Dave says, me, foul him? Are you kidding? He's got a little gray up in that hair there. You know, the Lakers are going out on the road after tonight. They're going to Cleveland, New Jersey, Philadelphia, and Washington. And they're going to honor Kareem in a couple of those cities, assuming that it's his last year. Well, the way he's playing as Jamal comes in, uh, I'm not so sure it's his last year. No, the more he plays and the better he plays, the appearance will make it last a couple of years. Well, I'll tell you, Billy Jean retired a few times, Billy Jean King. Why not? About 10 or 12. Baseline just trailed by 10. The Lakers have the lead. They've been behind by one point only once in this ballgame. They quickly changed all of that around, outscoring the Bulls 17 to 3. Three against Corzine. Out about 10 feet. Oh, that was a beautiful hook shot. 24 for the man, 89 77. He's got 24 points. What a night he's had. Better take a look at Kareem before we get to the quiz. Well, they put Corzine in to try to get some muscle on Kareem, body him away from the basket. Corzine did it. He got Kareem out to about 12 feet, and he still buried it. Two-man game, Jamal and Kareem. Now, Jamal will go through the lane to try to create some space. Corzine leans and bumps. Watch where Kareem delivers this one from. Right in front of the free throw line, about a 12-footer. And right at the top of that move, too. Beautiful. What a great, uh, great action shot. All right. We were talking about Michael Jordan. He'll probably be Rookie of the Year. If he is, he will be the fourth North Carolina player to make it as Rookie of the Year. There have been three previous. Do you know who they are? Teddy, you've seen the quiz, haven't you? No, I haven't seen it. All right, who are they then? Well, well we put them up on... Oh, well, All good. right, there we go. Phil Ford in 79. Before that, Sweet D, Walter Davis. And the first one, Bobby Mack. 73. And you're right, they're all still playing, though Davis is incapacitated with a knee that he suffered in an exhibition game against the lifetime lead that dwindled down to only three. Kareem saves it, but it's into the hands. Down the floor comes Matthews, all the way, tipped up and in. Who will give it to? They're going to give it to Higgins. The Celtics are now either 14 or 15 and 15, one. 15 and one. Wow. Greenwood. And Higgins remains in. And in the backcourt, we've got Matthews and Michael Jordan. Batting the ball around, trying to get it away from the magic one. Look at that pass to Rambus. I'll tell you, the man is magnificent. Magnificent. Oh, that was a great pass. The Bulls were trapping, and they got beat by magic. What a pass. 91-83. So magic continues to dazzle. Corzine at the baseline. Pumps a couple of times. Underneath, Jordan. I'm beginning to hear from him now, Ted. He's got 16 in the ball game. Had 11 in the first half. Well, it is the fourth quarter now. 91-85, Lakers by six. As you look at that Laker lineup, bear in mind that the likes of Cooper and McAdoo, he's out there now, but Cooper on the bench, Kareem on the bench. McAdoo's got 10. Lakers trailed only once. Corzine. Corzine. Here's Matthews on the break. And the little guy goes up and stuffs it. How about that? 93-91. And Matthews with eight. And Riley says 20 seconds. Look at the scoreboard, gentlemen. We're up by two when this whole thing started. While we were up by six. I tell you, the Bulls just aren't going to let up. Well, McAdoo, who hit a jumper a moment ago, has one. Poop didn't want it. And then Greenwood to Corzine. Dave figured, that's too far for me to run. I'll better give it to one of these fast guys. Well, what an unlikely guy to be out there as one of the guys in the lane of the fast break, Dave Corzine. That's because he wasn't rebounding. <laughs> and then Pat wanted 20. The Lakers, the Lakers started the fourth quarter, Tom, with the second unit and Magic Johnson in. So far, it hasn't worked out for them. Well, they had a six-point lead. It's dwindled down now to where they lead by two. 
and the ball is loose again, and the Bulls have it again. Here's Matthews again. Beautiful pass, and underneath Greenwood, and suddenly this ball game is tied up at 93. Well, I'm talking about the A team. It might be time for the Lakers A team. Wilkes under to McAdoo. No pun intended. I mean, he, he gives you 100% all the time. He's not the most gifted player in the league, but a total of 16 points in the game. Traveling will be the call on Matthews. And a good thing for the Lakers, and boy, he buried the shot. Kevin Lockery didn't think he walked it off. <laughs> Or didn't she get that impression watching him? <laughs> what was your first clue? Cooper in and Jamal Welch goes out. Here's Corzine and pushing each other. A lot of contact in there. Woolridge is in. Magic driving and with him was Jordan. Jordan going up to see what the official call. Greenwood picks up the foul. Magic at the free throw line. Magic, Jordan right on him. Kareem against Corzine. Drops it off to Magic underneath. Under 2 5 at the second effort pays off. He's got 14. Lakers lead by three, seven minutes to go. Corzine from the side. Magic was on him and couldn't handle him. Dave, too big for Magic. That's four for Corzine. Good recognition by the Bulls. Kareem came over to double Jordan and it left Corzine open inside. And they took advantage of it in a hurry. There's Kareem against Corzine. 26 for the big man tonight. 100 to 97. The Lakers by three. They're led by eight, led by three, led by six. They're up by three, and we've got six and a half to play. Matthews out of the corner. McAdoo bangs at it, but Greenwood has it. Kareem rejects it. Two on one. Scott. being taken by the Lakers. They have a five-point lead with just under six minutes to play, and the crowd's on its feet, roaring its approval. Well, some of them are up. The play began with Kareem blocking Greenwood. And then off they go. And McAdoo nailed Kareem, and McAdoo fell down. And Magic set this up perfectly. Scott over Jordan. Big dunk. And that play brings on... <laughs> Slamming, dancing, Barry. <laughs> you have to kiss a lot of frogs. You have before to kiss you a lot of frogs friends, before uh, you can marry your friend. <laughs> dancing, Barry. Threw that frog up and slam dunked it. Hung it on the rim. How about it? <laughs> did you see where Barry, Tom, did you see where Barry appeared at a Clipper game to increase his leverage with the Lakers for a better, a really? better fee? <laughs> oh, Barry, you're too much. I'm wondering what Dave Corzine thinks. Jack Nicholson, the cuckoo man, and dancing Barry all in one night. Corzine must think he's died and gone to heaven. <laughs> the inbound pass. Chicago with the ball. Bailey has it poked away by Scott. Out of bounds, Chicago. They'll reset the clock to 24. We've got 5.50 to go. Magic screaming about the clock, and now they're going to reset it for all of that. Laker lead is five. Dancing Barry slam dunks the frog. <laughs> yeah, you do. you got to kiss a lot of frogs to find a friend. <laughs> Why do you think they call it the fabulous form? My man. He was AWOL in training camp this year. He was a little miffed at all the publicity Jordan was getting. Also hurt that his playing time would ultimately suffer. Well, it's 
102 to 99. The Lakers lead by three with five minutes to go. Cooper saves it to Kareem, steps in, finger roll. 28 for the big man, 104-99. What a great play by Kareem. Yeah, he looked off one of the defenders. Beautiful shot. Lakers by five with just under four to play. Jordan driving. Jordan's got 18, 104-101. Right to the wire. Lakers trying to make it 10 out of their last 11. The Bulls trying to get out. Well, you talked about Corzine being so happy, it's like he died and gone to heaven. Well, if he gets any more hooks dropped on his head, he's going to wish he was someplace else. <laughs> well, <laughs> timeout is being taken by the Bulls. I meant here he is in Hollywood, in Inglewood, I mean. And there's Dancing Barry and the Cuckoo Man. How can uh, you? It would be a perfect night better. if he didn't have to play Kareem. <laughs> They're in a tough division, though. Oh, they sure are. We've had a lot of exciting shots tonight. The fancy stuff from the big guy. <laughs> is that beautiful? Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan's streak here at the Forum is on the line. Never lost a game here. But he didn't have to play Kareem, did he? Or Magic. New. No. Or Cooper. New. No. The Chicago Bulls coming off the bench. Magnificent effort tonight. Inbound pass to Magic. Got his eye on Kareem. Got the ball to him. Step away in the swing. On the rim and in. The Lakers have a three-point lead. Kareem against Corzine. Screens and gives to McAdoo. Nice drive by McAdoo. 2.35 to play. David is about an inch taller. Gets the tip. Bulls have the ball. Michael Jordan gives it over to Corzine. 108, 105, and Woolridge connects with both of them. 21 points for Woolridge tonight. Magic to Kareem. 218 to play. Kareem nails it again, high over Corzine. 32 for the victory. Corzine's going to think he died and went somewhere else. <laughs> Jump shot by Jordan. I'm telling you, he is there for them at the end. Under to McAdoo all alone. Flew it, threw it over the rim. Thought he was fouled. No whistle. He's got it there. Corzine hits him from behind. Yeah, no call by Eddie Rush. Kareem has had a magnificent night. Are those some impressive statistics? And in front of the 32, you could tack 37. That's his age. He's playing like he's a kid. Six assists, four blocks, 32 points. Kareem, the Magic on the give and go. Pressured the shot and it's off the board and Magic is beside himself. Thought he was fouled. Magic and Kareem, the same play they ran. Magic thought there was a foul. Bill Sarr didn't see it. On successive plays, Magic reacts. He just jumps about six feet in the air. Earlier, McAdoo thought that he had been fouled by Corzine on another give and go. A little uh, rub off down there with Kareem throwing in the ball. So the Lakers feel as though they've been victimized, and now they find themselves down by one, 42 to go. The Lakers and the Bulls each will have two timeouts remaining. 110 to 111. Well, as far as Chicago is concerned, and Dancing Barry's trying to get him going again. He's tireless. Dancing Barry, I tell you, he'd do to ride the river with. If you were back in Texas, you'd say, oh, you're, you're pooped now. All right, Dancing. No more frogs to slam dunk. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I can understand uh, Victoria Principal and Veronica Hammond. Well, I tell you, that's a... Magic is still lathering the officials down there a little bit. He's Those two calls that you referred to were made by different officials. Yep. Rush made the first and saw the second. Here's the game right here. Big time down. 40 seconds. Cooper with it. Lakers down by one. 37. 17 on the shot clock. Magic looking for Kareem. They cut him off. So there's 14 seconds left. The Lakers are down by one. They go on the road for a series back east, Cleveland and Washington and New Jersey. And Philadelphia on that swing also, Teddy? Right, that's the fourth stop. I'll tell you something, from watching this game for 15 years or so, one thing is for sure, whatever play you design, it usually doesn't work out that way. And improvisation becomes the key, and that's what's going to happen now with the Lakers. For well, the last time the Lakers brought it down with 27 seconds, they wanted to go to Kareem. Magic was over on the right side, tried to get it to him. 
It looked like uh, the interchange at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so he went to McAdoo, wanted to shoot. Obviously, the Lakers would like to get the ball to Kareem. It's the highest percentage shot that they can get is the skyhook. But Lockery knows that. The Bulls know it. And they will probably triple team Kareem in the paint, which means somebody else is going to have to shoot the ball if they can't get it to Kareem. And all of that within 14 seconds. Now, Woolridge, Greenwood, and Corzine are in, and Corzine and Kareem are setting up shop already. Inbound pass to Magic. Magic raises to shoot off the rim. Rebound is over the end line. It'll He'll be out of the shot. Lucky break. Oh, really? Six seconds. And the Lakers take another timeout. Well, I'm sure that that was not the play that Riley spent a minute diagramming, Ted. I, uh, Magic came up short on the shot. Well, I'm going to be perfectly blunt about this. Magic is trying to shake a reputation that he doesn't deserve, that he can't make the big plays at the end of the game. And that happened in the Boston series. He wanted to bury that jumper. It was a good shot, a 16-footer, just a little bit short. He'll make that shot eight times out of ten. You and I both know it. But I don't believe that was the play that Riley Probably not, the floor but, with. you know, Magic Johnson's a great player, and great players want to make great plays at the end of the game. We should also mention, Tom, that a lot of coaches would have somehow used up all their timeouts at this point. And uh, Riley does a darn good job managing his timeout. And instead of having to inbound with six seconds left and having no play to run, he saved that one time out, and that's just good coaching. It's a young club, and now Magic's got a chance again. So here we go. Cooper will inbound the ball. Six seconds remain. The Lakers are down by one. Trying to close out the homestand on a win. Into Scott. Deep in the corner to Kareem. Baseline sky hook off the rim. Rebound, one second. The buzzer's going to go off. Chicago wins it. 113 to 112. As the Lakers got not one but two shots. Magic, Kareem, neither one went in. And the Bulls, Kevin Lockery goes off the floor and back home. Oh, are they happy? Nine, and what a win for Kevin Lockery. That is a great win for a young Chicago team that's going to be hurt from this season. So despite 32 points by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in a magnificent ball game at each end of the court, the Lakers come up empty.